Hey YouTube, just um, just doing a quick update on um, the updates that I've made to uh, one of my HyperGo vehicles. Um, as you remember in one of my previous videos, we updated this vehicle with upgraded metal parts. This is before they're actually selling the metal parts. These are off of the 16,000 series uh, options of updating the uh, front shock towers and, and such. Um, we also uh, updated the, the wheel hubs on this one. On our second set of updates, we added an FPV camera to uh, one of the street drifting vehicles and um, as promised in this first video I was actually going to convert this uh, actual um, truck into a street um, racer and um, didn't actually update this truck here but actually went with the V1 version of this actual truck. This is this truck here is actually uh, a conversion that I did of this series style. They're basically the same thing, um, but the reason that I added this uh, shell to it is because I like this shell, this body a little bit more, and. This had the updated drive shafts at the time. I think this option is available and it's labeled as V2 on AliExpress. Um, and that, I believe, like the American versions that are listed on Amazon, also includes those telescoping drive shafts in the front. So I, I believe when you get, if you were to order this vehicle now, you would get the drive shafts in the rear and front. Um, at the time when I first had this vehicle, it was still the V1 version, which just had regular dog bones in there. Um, so I figured instead of updating this truck, and since I already had the V1 version, why not make this truck similar to this truck which was the uh, street drifting truck version and make it my own. So what I came up with was this. This is the um, off-road version of the 14,000, 1400 series W, um, not, not um, MJX uh, cars that they have. And uh, as you can see, this one is a lot lower than the, these two trucks. And I'll show you how I got that done. I've never built a street racer or a, a racing or a, uh, a fast RC. I've, already, I've always done, you know, off-road RCs, uh, RC cars and trucks. Um, this truck, I mean, this car here actually got me into it. I loved it so much. The only flaw that I really saw with this car was that going into corners hard, you do you do flip them, you know, um, these two when they're on 100%. So I wanted to resolve that and also create a vehicle that I could eventually turn into a speed vehicle. So... How I accomplished that was I um, used the springs and shocks out of this uh, 16th scale size MJX vehicle. I believe this is the 16210. Um, and on this vehicle, when you purchase it, it has, I believe, they're 74 millimeter shocks and um, on all the other vehicles there I believe they're 80 millimeter shocks so it's a, a difference of about six millimeters which in all actuality does make quite a difference 
on lowering this car. It just looks really, really good. Um, hopefully, MJX will do a uh, street racing um, edition of this 14 uh, 100,000 series uh, truck. This is way lower. Um, it's even lower than uh, their typical um, street racing vehicles. Only about by a millimeter or two, but that millimeter or two makes a significant difference. Um, lowering this truck has increased the handling significantly. Um, it doesn't flip over as much. I also changed out the tires here. As you can see, the wheels are changed out for um, street wheel options. And in addition to that, I went with a larger brushless motor. Um, we can get into that in another video, how I accomplished that. I'm going to be cleaning that up and also adding an adjustable um, motor mount. Um, I did have to do some chopping to the, to the plastic case, um, which was a little bit of a pain, but this thing is absolutely amazing um, on the street now. Um, I know there was a lot of, when these cars f first came out, these vehicles, the street vehicles, is, I mean the off-road vehicles especially, a lot of people were complaining about, you know, the handling and, you know, kind of keeping the, the trucks upright. Um, widening this stance on the, on the off-road series, putting on the street tires and lowering the vehicles, um, uh, the center of gravity on the on the vehicle has drastically improved the handling on this vehicle. Um, once I get this vehicle, once I get the new motor mount, I do plan on doing some additional testing on it, and I will update you um, as far as the performance. Uh, right now, I'm having a little bit of a gear mesh issue, but. I'm pretty sure once I get that new adjustable mount, I will resolve that. But this thing is is just great. Um, I love the MJX line and what they've come out with and what they're doing in the RC um, realm, uh, the, the RC car realm. What I would like to see from MJX is an alternate option back here for maybe an adjustable motor mount or a motor mount that is not encased in this plastic. Um, a lot of people make comparisons between these vehicles and the WL toys. Uh, you know, they're cheaper vehicles that, you know, are affordable. Um, and that is the one up I will give for the WL toys um, vehicles is that, you know, having that ability to swap out motors a little bit easier and they do have adjustable motor mount options on aliexpress and other vendors um i think that kind of gives it uh a, a, just in that one area also you know the wl toys vehicles are great themselves i i i have a few myself and they're great um durability wise i think the the mjx vehicles have an up on them um, but that one thing there is what a lot of enthusiasts and more experienced builders may have an issue with, um, is just having that capability. And I'll just take a look in here, um, one that's fully encased and hasn't been modified yet, but you can see you really don't have much exposure to, um, adjust gear meshing or add um, a bigger uh, pinion gear to the motor uh, you know you don't have that option here uh, you have to go with a direct either replacement that's the same size factory replacement but there isn't any options to really go up on that that pinion gear um, or spur gear even so you know hopefully in the future MJX will give us that um, opportunity to uh, 
to do that and it gave us the capabilities by providing us with motor mount options that are are different and um but this i i absolutely love that mjx has been doing that doing this for the, the hobbyists and the people who are just getting into these these are great options of uh of vehicles to to to, to buy um especially on the cheaper scale and more affordable scale for people who may not have a thousand dollars for an xrt or six hundred dollars for um an eighth scale arma vehicle or traxxas vehicle these are great options to get you into the hobby and to get you started on ideas with um you know modifying your car or truck that set themselves this is just um it's just amazing. This truck is just, as far as street performance, I would say that now that I have modified the off-road truck to be a street truck, this definitely does outperform as far as handling and less flipping over. It does perform way better and it looks pretty good I, I i think like with this these modifications i obviously did have to um cut out the wheel well a little bit more um since it is lower and to allow the suspension travel to not interfere with um hitting the the body of the of the vehicle um yeah you can see that i do have two different shock colors here um, that was just because I only had these four shocks I do have additional shocks on order um, that will make this more uniform they're they're blue and I believe that will even lower the car even more those are HSP shocks that I'm getting those are 68 millimeters so that will drop in even lower um, I'm going to be, obviously, I'm going to be worried about scraping. I'm going to have to find a pretty uh, level surface to run this on with no rocks because it does, you know, as on this vehicle, you know, it does hit, you know, rocks if it is rocky or the terrain doesn't permit for that low of a vehicle. But this thing is, it's an absolute weapon. Um... I was able to transfer all the parts fairly easily. You can see that I did have to put additional holes because this uh, the wheelbase is a little bit longer, slightly. You can just see it's just slightly longer on the um, off-road options, the 14,000 series options is slightly longer. So I did have to add additional holes in this body, but I think this looks great. If MJX were to revamp this vehicle here, I think this would be a good um, B option or 2.0 option of this vehicle. It just rips. Um, and like I said, if they could give us the option to add our own motor mounts so we can modify this vehicle and, and make it even more uh, special, that would be amazing. At that point, if they were to give us that option, I think that MJX, not MJX, I think WL Toys would be in, um, not in trouble, but I think the competition for them would be, um, the consideration of vehicles would be, you would have more viable options. Um, and, you know, that's what we want to see. So that's my uh, video for today. Um, it was longer than expected, but um, I hope you have a great weekend, YouTube, and we'll see you next time once we get this adjustable motor mount um, in and installed. Um, I'll do a whole video on how I did that, and uh, yeah, thanks. Have a great day.